was I think, over about empty. Nobody really wanted to watch that. And then I got back up to my room last night. It was like 24 or 31 nothing. I just, at that point, I kind of I cringed. And I got, I got pretty upset. And I'm talking to Josh about it. And it sucks, man. Um, you know, coming off of six yeah. But did that, did that play into what you guys wanted to do today? No, uh, I mean, seniors this year got here and hey, you guys that, that, that built a little bit of frustration in uh, the team. Uh, you know, on that team uh, to we were motivated regardless of what would have happened last night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that might have added a little extra. Thanks, Derek. Was this harder to read than you thought? I mean, actually, not many teams do it. Not many Super Bowl teams do it. And there's a reason. Frustration. Pressure. Honestly, it was harder than you thought. Or not. You know, it's easy. Had, uh, it took us a minute to get things going in the beginning of the season. What does that mean to you? Um, you know, I was talking to him. I wouldn't say it was much harder because we have such a routine and such a culture here that you know, that's just what's expected almost. You know what I mean? Yeah, right, right. Um, not because he cares about it. It just really sucks to have a, a one in the loss column. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So what makes it so for him to be able if it was a death sentence? Well, because it makes it harder, you know, because, you know, that's going to defend our title. And at the same time, the team we lost to got beat 38 and nothing last night. So that, uh, you know, just that's so also sucks. Kind of yeah. But that's the kind of guy I've been the uh, whole four years, and you got to end it all right it's, it's hard. It's hard to muster up words because yeah. we as a group are really just up there. But it didn't happen. It is what it is. And it's kind of four. So stopping quarterback run um, and then limiting the full. Um, he's, he's like a player. He had that long, you know, right, uh, long catch and um, touchdown. I give a good throw. Mine it was, it was very solid. Hey, Jack. That was the best uh, offensive line we've tasted. Darren, I'm sure you've already been asked this a few times, but um, you know, considering everything that you've accomplished this year in the prospect and the pros that you've developed into, hey, what's the next step on and how you make this decision? And you know, is it kind of nice to be in this situation where you have an option? Um, absolutely. But uh, I'm going to weigh my options with my family, uh, talk it over with them. And uh, you know, look forward to making that decision. Go ahead. Give a timetable. Are you kind of surprised now that it's all? I mean, it happened in a year, but to be in this situation, kind of the way that you had to earn your offer, the way that things went for you, are you surprised that you're in this spot right now? Surprised? No, not really, because I'm really good I am. But just to see how everything's panned out. Then about a shower, man. These guys are playing with the stupid guys. It's surreal. This team, uh, this team, the 2015 team is going to be one for the record books, and that's what we want to remember. Do you need to get a certain grade back uh, to know? Is there like a certain goal you have to have for the NFL to know that that's what you're going to do? Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, but it all goes back to me earning my offer. I mean, I knew what I'm capable of. Um, I don't know what you're No, a grade meaning like when they think you would be taken, not when you put it up. You see what I'm saying? Uh, if, if you do decide to leave, what was kind of like your lasting legacy? Obviously, that final play, you forced the, got the sack and the strip. I mean, what kind of legacy do you feel that you left? I mean, obviously, as you spoke with Ari already, you were kind of not highly touted at high school, and then you came on, you guys won a national championship. You're this big time player. What kind of legacy do you feel like you left if, in fact, you do decide to go? I won't say legacy like that because I don't consider like say high like that. I say this team's legacy for sure is solidified. Um, I'm, just, I'm honestly blessed and honored to be a part of this team's legacy. And we'll be remembered forever, and I'm just I'm happy to have my name part of it. You've done everything that a person 